some beautiful bright colours. Hopefully, uh, cheer you up. Um, certainly, cheer me up. How are you doing? Welcome to the midweek shave, to the Wednesday shave. Uh, using some quite um, unique and special products in this. Uh, sent to me by a very kind chap called, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, Ivo. Uh, y V O. Um, thank you very much for sending these. Um, and I'll just say this is the soap he sent me. It's called Spice Bomb. And it's beautiful. It's a hard soap. Um, and I've just put some a little bit of water on the top, just about five minutes for it to bloom, just to help uh, with the lathering process for me, because I've never used it before. Um, now I take it I'm saying it right, so I'll keep saying Ivo. If I'm wrong, as I say, I do apologise for my arrogance. Um, he doesn't make this soap or aftershaves colognes to sell. Um, I think it's a passion uh, Ivo enjoys, or Evo, Ivo, Evo, I'm sorry. Um, he enjoys to make uh, soaps and uh, he was very kind enough to uh, send me one to see what I think of it uh, because they're quite expensive to make so uh, I can understand that but very honoured you're sending me you know to, to, to try it so here's the uh, soap now the first thing I get from this puck as you can see I've only put a very slight amount of water in that is just hardly any um, was uh, cinnamon and uh, there is vanilla in it very nice, out of the pack. Okay, brush, grey dog, the two band badger, beautiful. So that's been soaking for about 10 minutes. So I'm not going to waste this uh, bloom water that can go in my hand. So you can see it's only a little bit. And that can go in the face. Oh, that's nice, yeah. There's, um, to my nostrils is cinnamon vanilla and maybe a hint in the back of a citrusy mm, yeah but it feels lovely and slick very nice are you in good health the snow is melting <laughs> it's nice to see it it has its own beauty but uh, Forgetting about day to day, doing your job, um, especially my job, it's a, it's a damned nightmare, should we say. Right, let's start the lather, shall we? So, grey dog, two band badger, that's wet but it's not dripping, and we'll gather um, from the pack, and I shall show you. I'm going to use the tin, and when you mix it up like this, I'm already getting this uh, fragrance, really nice, if it lathers very nicely actually because a lot of hard soaps take can take a while but the blooming helps obviously but um, it's like it's uh, lathering like a crop actually, it's really nice, so I'm just going to gather off this here, go on get your nostrils on there. <laughs> really nice and along with this soap he sent me two I'll show you um, aftershaves colognes and this one is Bay Rum it says there uh, Bay Rum 2018 Bay Rum scent and this one is tobacco um, and you'll see me use this and in there I thought when I first seen it what's this the cinnamon star anise and some vanilla pods, I think it is, vanilla, um, yeah, peppers, you know, like peppers, uh, really. And I thought it wasn't, I, I didn't know what to expect, so we'll come to that in a minute. I'm just going to go under the tap and we'll go straight to the face. Well, explosion of soap. And I did try some of this. Remember, I told you to if you have sensitive skin, just try a bit behind the here. That's what I do. 
nothing. So that gives me the the um, thing to use. You know, it's okay to use. Oh, and in my last video, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I did say that um, uh, Gregory Wagner, uh, he does sell the brushes, um, but only through his um, Facebook page. Now, if you go to my last video, I've pinned his comment to the top of the video, uh, or it'll be near to the top uh, of the video, uh, and it says the, the um, Facebook page address, you know, the, so if you're interested in those brushes or whatever or anything he does, take a look. So this at the moment is nice, I like it quite thick and creamy, and that's doing a fantastic job. Right, nice razor of choice, and another that people said in the comments in a video or two ago, be nice to see you use a vintage Gillette again and here we go we're using the Gillette uh, super speed red tip you can see now this the color schemes I think there's white red blue uh, and black and the, the red blue is the mildest I think and the red is the more aggressive it's quite a weight to it but it's nice it's a nice solid non adjustable twist the bottom twist the red bit there it's a bit faint fainted on mine but um, and I'm using a Gillette Nasset brand new blade because a uh, Gillette razor may as well go with a Gillette blade there is overhang quite a bit to be aware of on there but uh, really nice so let's get going warm the razor up and uh, let's get to it yeah you can feel that oh nice Lovely scent being as the soap's been moved about during the shave, and it feels just on this first pass that it's very slick. That's a good sign, but a nice scent, really nice. Very nice. Are you having some nice shaves yourself? Have you learnt anything new? Any little tips and tricks that work for you better? Because you find that sometimes a very small change in your shave, be it it could be one twist on an aggression, you know, on the on the dial. You could normally shave on four and you go up to five or whatever, or the other way around, four to three. And it makes a huge difference in your shave. Um, just little things, or changing a blade and finding that blade makes a razor which you otherwise thought wasn't a very nice razor or didn't do a very good job. So it's always worth... You know, whatever razors you got, always try different blades and you'll, you'll soon find out which are your favourites or what works best for you really. Very nice, very warm in here. Someone's had the heating on and there's not, uh, there's no snow now. <laughs> so my body's, I'm not one for hot and heat really but uh, as you can tell, maybe, but um, she who must be obeyed, must, if she's cold, we have the heating on. What do we have? Thank you very much for the heating on. Right, that's the first pass. Uh, good success, really nice. Felt nice and slick on the first pass. A lovely scent, not too strong. 
It's a nice subtle scent, so I'll see in pass number two. And welcome to pass number two. So I'm going to go, that was quite thick and pasty then, I'm not going to get any more from the puck. I'm going to use what I got on this brush and just add some water to it. I may have to go back to the puck, we'll see how it copes. I don't think we will after. Nice brush. I find, I always found that just soaking it, you know, just for 10, 15 minutes or whatever while you're in the shower. Now as you can see that, you can see through it. That's a wetter and a sort of a weaker application. But we're going to go with it. I could go back to the puck, but I'm not going to, because it's a, uh, it seems so far, even though it's one pass, to have good slickness. So here we go, cross the growth. Yeah, that's nice and slick. May not look a lot here, and it's not a lot. So I'm shaving really now on the wetness and the on its own sort of slickness. Yeah, the scent is nice. It's a, as well as it says, a spice bomb, bomb of spices. But to my nose, there is the first thing is cinnamon, which is nice, cakey for me, like a cake scent. If you like cakes, uh, you'd like this scent. Um, like somebody's just like I don't know, like a baking. Somebody's baking in the house. Like you know that little scent that there's that hits me first. Cinnamon, then the vanilla mixed with in the background. Uh, but I haven't uh, tried to eat it yet. And then maybe a slight citrusy. But them two are the main things I can smell. And a nice combination. I must admit. That's lovely. I'm gonna tidy up. Right, if that could talk, it could tell you some stories. I wish it could. I've always said this and I keep saying it. Whoever made that, you imagine the chap who's made that or, and imagine the person who first bought it brand new. Where did they live? What was their job? Did they have a happy life, you know? Was it handed down to family? This sort of thing. Oh. Anyway, don't go on, Paul. I won't. I'll see you in pass number three when we go against the growth. Okay, welcome back to pass number three. So I'm just going to gather now more from the puck, just on the tips there. It's only a small one, it's, uh, but it's enough to just gather the tips. Go on then. Oh yes, oh yeah. That's nice. Just under the tap slightly. And of course the more you add, the more you lather, the thicker and creamier it gets. It's a nice scent. I can I can imagine it's expensive to to make because you've done a good job there. I don't know if this is your first attempt or if you've made many, and this is sort of the um, final thing you're happy with. Uh, well, on someone who uses it, shaving with it, it certainly worked. It's paid off. Lathers quickly. Good scent. Nice and subtle. And for me, it's that sort of cakey, sort of sweet um, cinnamon vanilla taste. Lovely. I haven't got a, I don't think I've got a soap like that really. Um, and slickness is good. It's very nice. So here we go against the growth. Using the spice bomb shaving soap, the Gillette red tip. 
the Gillette Nasset blade, brand new, and the Grey Dog. Twin badger, two band badger, twin. Now this razor is the red, is uh, the most aggressive of the coloured with super speeds. Um, you can feel the blade. Yeah, but I wouldn't class it as in aggressive, as in aggressive if you know what I mean. You can just see it's a, there's a, probably a bigger gap on that than the other, maybe the others. And it depends what blade you use. But, um, you know, it's nothing like a mark of future. <laughs> but, um, in its day, it would have been aggressive. Well, apart from the uh, straights. Very nice. I've got a couple of jokes for you. I may have said these before. If I have, I apologise. But there's always someone new watching these. So. I'm a big fan of one-liners if they... Well, if they make me laugh. <laughs> and the uh, first one is... I met yesterday the chap who invented windowsills. What a ledge. Uh, exit signs, they're on the way out, aren't they? I'll be watching uh, Tim Vine. If you go on YouTube and type in Tim Vine, V I N E, his brother is a BBC Radio 2 presenter, Jeremy Vine. Right, on that uh, useless bit of information, I shall see you in what? In what? <laughs> In... Should we say neck brace? Or should we... Pick up time! Three, two, one... Pick up time! Ah, it's all good fun. No, maybe just for me, maybe, but it's, uh, it's all good fun. Right, so, I'll just leave this as it is. Be nice and thick. Just pick up the what we class as the stragglers, the bits you've missed, and you always miss some. Um, as you'll probably hear when this is cutting. Very nice. I'll give it a Nice. I bet you, Mrs. H will think I've been baking cakes in here, isn't it? Now we'll test the slickness again. This one, the chin bit and the neck. Not so much slickness on there. Let me just try that again. Oh yeah, that's better.
So you want that quietness. Just on that jawline, you know. Oh, I could go forever doing this. I love it. Skin like a rhino now. Right, that'll do, isn't it? Very nice. So I'll just rinse off. Yeah, that feels nice. That was a good test when you can feel the slickness of the these. I love the contrast between this sort of reddish purple, whatever, that will last purple. Purple, this, man, oh, sort of red and yellow, beautiful. Oh, God, this, I love it. <sighs> Towel stage is always nice, isn't it? Oh, this is for Dom, if you're watching. Say hello to Mr. Towel. That's for Don Fraser. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Towel. Right. Oh, I've done it again. I'm going to use the alum. Oh, I have to use Mr. Towel again. Here we go. I'll keep mine in there. So there it is. Wet, wet the alum, and here we go. Instead of witch hazel, what a change! Oh, I missed a bit there. I can't feel it. Is there any feedback? Not really. Oh, just a touch there. Hear them whiskers? That's annoying. Oh yeah. After the shave, let's finish filming. I may go back in there a bit more there, because it'll annoy me once I feel something. <laughs> right, rinse off again. Very nice. Please welcome back, Mr. Towel. Well, there's certainly no slickness left now after an alum application. So, um, right, this is the uh, tobacco. And I'm going to say I have secretly tried a bit of this. And absolutely amazing is the word. I wasn't sure when I seen those bits. It reminded me of a pickle jar. Uh, but I thought, no, no, he's, uh, they're there for a reason. Star anise and all, all that sort of stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. Mrs H loves this. And she said, that may have to find its way to my bag. I said, indeed not. How dare you. So anyway, here we go as a spray, but I'm going to put it in my hand. Not that you may not do this, but... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> now I'm going to put some spray on. Now, you're probably screaming there, you've used too much! Beautiful, absolutely stunning. From what it describes, I can see now why this would be expensive. That scent I could imagine selling in London for a lot of money. That scent. That's amazing. I, that shocked me actually. Not to say that you didn't think you'd do it, anything special, but that is very nice tobacco. Very proud of yourself there. Really nice. It's, um, when I seen this sort of star anise, which is like an aniseed, aniseed taste, 
when you're using cooking um, and you got the cinnamon but it works I don't know how you it's clever you, how I'm not clever enough to know how to make things and things like that in scents but um, you are <laughs> you've done a good job there uh, Evo Evo isn't it Ivo Evo so thank you so much really nice if I can keep hold of it from other hands shall we say well we can share it we'll share it very nice so I look forward to trying the bay rum but as I say uh, he does not make it to sell in case people say oh why can we buy it why can we um, it's I think a passion he's, he's sort of made soaps uh, until he's sort of happy with them and then as I say I was honoured enough he wanted me to try them in a, in a well not necessarily a video maybe but to, to see what I thought of them and the soap is very good, lovely scent. To me personally, cinnamon, uh, the vanilla and that is like a cakey scent. Lovely, really nice um, with the spices. And lathered quick, nice slickness. And well, worked well during the shave, you can see. Lovely scent, nice and subtle. And then we've used today this Gillette Super Speed, this uh, red tip. Lovely, comfortable shave using the Gillette Nasset blade. Uh, goes well with it. Well, I should hope so, Gillette with a Gillette. But uh, really nice. Enjoyed that. I wish I could talk, and that's the, the blade package there. Um, use the Grey Dog Two Band Badger. Words do not need describing for that, do they? You can see work of art, that is. That's lovely. We've used the Spice Bomb. Uh, 2018 shaving soap lovely and then we use the alum and Mr. Towel and then we applied the tobacco beautiful absolutely amazed by that really nice and now we're going to add the Nivea originals and I can tell you now this is going to be a good combination I can tell you now Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Nivea goes well, the originals. With a lot of my scents for my nose, for my palate, shall we say. Right. And that is it, I'll leave you in peace. You can get on with the rest of your week now without jibber jabber. Um, so thank you for watching, for your comments. Uh, as you may notice, I do answer when I can. Um, but keep them coming. I love reading them and I really appreciate them. Because I feel when I'm reading them, it's like having a chat with you personally. Because this, as I've said before, this channel, it may go bigger, get more comments, but I never take it for granted. Um, any views, any comments and all that sort of thing, I don't take it for granted because it could stop like that. Because the channel, it's half half and half. It's half me, it's Mrs H with the flowers, it's all part of the package and it's you, you're the other half. And I think we intermingle quite well, don't we? So let's keep it going. <laughs> um, so have some great shaves, look after yourself, stay healthy, stay happy and uh, kick any nastiness, any negativity, straight in the bin and leave it there. If you've got a match, put a match to it. And thank you to Evo, Ivo, and, and Evo, I'm sure it's Evo, um, for your kindness sending the soap and the two colognes. I'll use the uh, bay rum in a future video. But very nice, very impressed for someone making stuff like that. Really good job. Um, and that's it. Leave you in peace. Anything else to tell you? Probably always when I think off, off camera. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. See you then.